welcome back in today's session we are going to discuss about dead package so i'm going to create a new bot and say that dead package so first of all I'm going to the variables panel and I'm creating a date type variable with the name of date example. So here I'm choosing date and type as a type of the variable and I'm naming it as date. And I'm not providing any default value. If you want to provide, you can provide it here. So you can choose the date and the month and year here and you can provide the time here. And then you can select the, the country code like which environment in which geo environment time you are assigning here for now i'm taking this one as a blank only so simply i'm going to create a date time variable with the name of date example yes i, I created the date now i'm going to the actions panel here so here i'm looking for the date package date time package here here I'm taking the assign command. So here I'm going to assign the date for the date example variable. So here I'm be assigning a date. So before assigning the date, I need to choose the format of the date in which format i'm going to assign the date so here i'll be taking the iso local format so in this format i'll be assigning the date so i'll assign 2022 9th month and 20th as the date and i'll be assigning this value to my date example variable it has been created now let's print this on the message box and we'll see the value has been assigned to the particular data data example variable or not for that what i'll do i'll go to the message box here and here i'll try to print the date so but whenever i, I click on insert variable see here it is not displaying the date example variable that means message box doesn't supports the date type variable to print it so for that what i'll do i'll try to do the inline type casting by providing the dollar symbol here so and here i'll be selecting the date example it is showing the a caution symbol here that means it is not the expected way so let me give a dot symbol here to perform the type casting but see it is showing the invalid expression and it is not giving any hover. That means the date type variable doesn't support the inline type casting. So I need to do that explicitly. So for that, what I'll do is before this message box, I'll be adding a command from the date package. In the date type package, there is a command to string. This will help us to convert the date type variable into the string type variable. So here I'm taking the date example and here the conversion format, even though see observe here, here I took the ISO local date format, right? But here I'll be providing this one RFC double one, two, three format. So the output will be like this. So here you need not to provide the ISO local only again. So you can provide any format, whatever you want. So I am providing this RFC format and I am assigning it to the sample string. Now the date value has been converted into the string type and it has been assigned to the sample string variable. Here I'm going to assign the sample string variable in the message box. Now I have provided it here and I'm going to execute this. See, it will be providing the that means it is going to print the 20th date in the message box in the rfc format we see tuesday see let's check it has converted properly or not so i'm opening my calendar let me see here see 20th is the tuesday it is converted as expected so like this we'll be using the assign command as well as uh, two string command and the second one is addition. So the add command, the add command will help us. Okay, before talking 
about add i'll be showing one more thing here so instead of giving like this you can provide the variableization as well so instead of entering the date and time manually so you can select the variable and here you can choose the date like this like 20th and time is 12 am so in this way also it will be working let me print and check it it has been done and in the variableization there is one more method called variable so it will help us to assign the system states for suppose whatever the system date that has to be assigned to the date example variable if i provide like this even though i executed this but today tomorrow or day after tomorrow the value is constant always is 28th only but i want to assign my system date as today is 14 the value should be 14 tomorrow is 15 the value should be 15 so to do that i need to use a system variable which belongs to the date type so for that i'll be choosing the variable option here and here i'll be providing the insert value so here i'll be choosing the system date here if you see under system there is a date variable if you insert it it will become system colon date and i'm assigning it to the date example if i execute this now now it will be printed as 14th september Like this, we can work with work with the system date. And now to demonstrate the other commands, I am assigning back this to the previous date. Like and let me give it in a local. So like this, I have provided. Now I am going to add it. So add is simply. Add the time to the existed date time. So here I'm taking the date example and here add the value. I'm adding two. What is this two? Whether I'm adding two days or two hours, two minutes or two seconds or two days, two months, whatever, or two years. So that has to be selected here. Time units. I'll be adding two months here. I'll be adding two months here. And again, I'll be assigning back to the date example only. If I execute this now, it will be printing the 20th of November. See here, it's printed it as a November because I added the two months. So here you need to add the matrix, whatever you want. So the subtraction command is the subtract command is here. It will be works in the vice versa of add command. It will help us to subtract the value so here i'll give five and here i'll give in the five days so here the time example so if you observe this here here i provided the 20th of uh, september then i added two months here it will become 20th of november then here i subtracted five days then it will become the 15th of the november let's check that became the 15th November as per the given statement. I'm closing this now. And another command is is equals to I just want to check that the given date is equals to current date or not. So here I'll be choosing this one. And I'll be choosing the current date. And here see it is not showing the output value because the output of this particular command is a boolean value that means because it will show the true or false if both the dates are same it will be returning the value as true otherwise it will be returning the value as false so i'm going to create a boolean variable so here i'm naming it as boolean example so default value i'm keeping it as true okay so let me try to print this boolean value here now I'm disabling this and here in the message box i'll try to print the boolean so i'm selecting the boolean example here as it is not the supported format i need to perform the 
type casting to the string so the type casting has been done if i execute this it will be returning null because 20th is not equals to the 14th right that's the reason in the same way the uh, is after and is before also will work yes this is about the date package if you like our video and if you feel that our videos are helpful please do like and subscribe our channel and share it with your friends thank you thank you very much if you have any doubts you can post them in the comments i'll try to answer every comment thank you guys